Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mute you guys. No offense. But uh, this morning, what we have in store for us is, uh, I put it on the board here. Now that the kids are done using the easel for their fort, uh, we can put the exercises back on the board. So this morning, what we have is um, we're going to warm up. We're going to go 20 reps, uh, 15 reps, 10 reps, and 5 reps. So um, you'll go through all the exercises at 20 reps, and then we'll go through all the exercises at 15 reps. So there's no time here. It is uh, at your own pace, right? So we'll get warming up here, and then I'll explain the, the exercises, and we'll go from there, all right? So first, uh, starting off in the foam roller, as usual. We've got a nice assortment at our house now. Uh, starting off on the back of your legs, down by your ankles. We've challenged Cole to do every morning this week, so the challenge has been laid down. So hopefully you'll see him every morning this week. You might start looking crabby by the end of it though. <laughs> no? All right. All right, let's move the roller up between your knees and the back of your, or uh, your knees and your butt, back of your legs. Okay, let's roll over on your side. So we're gonna do the side of, uh, let's say your right leg to begin with. So just rolling from your hip bone all the way down to your knee. And let's go to the other side. And rolling over to the front of your thigh. So let's just roll one thigh at a time here. Make the roller, uh, move the roller over so that you can uh, roll all the way up to your waistband or your hip bone, uh, the, the crest of your hip. So we're lying on our front, rolling all the way up to your hip flexor, all the way up to the attachment on your hip. And switch to the other side, rolling the front of your other leg now. And good, let's go ahead and sit on top of the roller. And just rolling your cheeks out here, tilt side to side. You find what's uh, sore for you. Cross one leg over if needed. And switch to the other side if you haven't yet. All right, finally, let's uh, put that roller right underneath your shoulder blades. And we're rolling back and forth just over top of your shoulder blades. You can uh, reach your arms above your head, change the stretch a little bit. 
You can reach your hands up towards the ceiling to stretch a little bit or change this, the stretch a little bit. And you can give yourself a hug. That makes things a lot more intense. Okay. And one last thing we're going to do with the roller here. We're just going to kind of use it as a chest stretch. So let's take your roller and put it right down your spine. Right, so the roller should line right up with your spine. And then you're just going to be laying on top and let your arms open up like you're going to give the ceiling a hug. So if you have a long roller, you should be able to rest your head. If you have a shorter one, you'll have to hold it up. But really, we're just uh, thinking about going through a stretch here across your chest while you're on top of the foam roller. Bend your knees, put your feet flat on the floor. Bend your knees, put your feet flat. There you go. And good. All right, let's boot the roller out from under you. Stay on your back, though. All right, two things we're going to do. We're going to hold your hips up. So we're going to do a hip press, holding the hips up. And then you're going to slide your forearms along the floor all the way up into the letter Y. And all the way down, think about elbows into your pockets. So we're going to reach up and down. We're going to do that 15 times. So we're making the letter Y, then we're making the letter W. So just slide your arms like that. There you go. Good. Keeping your hips up nice and strong, belly strong, cheeks strong. Reaching up and down 15 times. And good. Once you're done there, we'll go ahead and uh, put your hips down. You're going to bring both feet up, point the bottom of your shoes at the ceiling, right? You're going to freeze one leg right where it is. You're going to lower the other one to tap the floor. Good. So we're going to tap eight times each leg. As your leg lowers, try to keep your low back glued to the ground. Try to relax your head as you do this. Good. All right. You're going to roll over onto your side. From here, we're just going to do a 20 second side plank. So you can either go from your knees or straighten your legs and put your top foot in front. We're just going to hold a 20 second side plank. Here we go. You have five seconds to go. Three, two, one, roll over to the other side. Bent knees is gonna be easier than straight legs. Ready and go. And good. Let's roll over to all fours. So uh, this uh, quadruped position right from right here, you're going to take your heel, you're going to push your heel up towards the ceiling, keep your knee bent at 90 degrees. So we're just pushing your heel up towards the ceiling. We're going to go 10 times here. So keep your knee bent. Shouldn't be turning out. Don't let your thigh turn. Keep everything straight, pushing your heel straight up to the ceiling. We're going to go eight times. Your belly should be strong here too. Don't let your back drop. That might mean that your knee doesn't come all the way up. That's okay. Or doesn't get parallel to your hips. That's all right. Keep your belly strong as you're pushing up. All right, same position. Let's go back to the first leg. Now we're going out to the side. So try to freeze everything. We're just moving out to the side like a dog peeing on a bush. Just going out to the side 10 times. 
Once you get 10 on one side, we're gonna do 10 on the other. Last one on the, from this all fours position, we're gonna go uh, take your knee to your same side elbow. So your knee is gonna come up and tap your elbow. Then you're reaching back and across as far as you can. So knee to your elbow, back and across. Knee to your elbow, back and across. Should start to feel this in the uh, hip of your planted knee, the knee that's on the ground. Let's do five on one side, then just five on the other. Once you're done there, let's go ahead and stand with wide feet. First time, or first thing, 10 each side, we're just squatting down to one side, squatting down to the other. Just a real simple grind stretch here and a little bit of a leg warm up. 10 to each side. From there, keep your feet wide. You're gonna take your hands down to the floor. So we're just looking for a hamstring and groin stretch here. We'll hold this for about five breaths. So we're gonna take a nice deep breath into your waistband and exhale, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good. From here, you're going to keep your left hand rooted into the ground. You're going to take your right hand up and out and try to turn your chest up towards the ceiling. And we alternate. So now your right hand's on the ground, your left hand comes up. And we'll alternate for five each side. Think about looking over your shoulder as you go, trying to look up at the ceiling, keeping that other hand rooted down into the ground. Once you get 10 total, five each side, we're standing up, last bit of warm up here. You're gonna give your knee a hug so we come up and across with your leg, take that same leg and lunge backwards. Up and across with your leg, take that same leg and lunge backwards. Give your leg a hug, or give your knee a hug, pull up and across, take that same leg and go back into a reverse, <coughs> reverse lunge. And let's do six each side. On. Good morning. How are you? Brooklyn, good to see you. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're ready to go here. So like I said, this is uh, not a timed circuit. So you're going to go at your own pace, but um, 20 reps of everything, then 15 reps of everything, then 10, then five. So you're working down through toe taps, just uh, all this stuff. If you got a kettlebell or a dumbbell, either one, either will work. So the toe taps, you just have the handle of the kettlebell right in front of you. Okay, you're just, uh, you've got one toe on it and you're switching. So just tapping your toe to the, to the kettlebell or the dumbbell, whichever you got. Next one, goblet squat, is just uh, bringing the weight up underneath your chin, squatting down. I think everybody's pretty familiar with goblet squats. Make sure our feet are staying flat on the floor there. Reverse lunge, you can either hold the weight 
up like uh, you were doing a goblet squat or a hold the weight down on the side of the leg that's going back. I'll probably be holding down here as a suitcase hold. That's the reverse lunge. For the row, you're just gonna try to keep your back nice and flat, bending over at your hips, pulling your elbow up towards the ceiling. All right, uh, that's the row. SLDL, hold in the side that is going back. So we're hinging at your hips. Your hand should really only go like just below your knee. You don't have to touch the weight to the floor on that. No, it's 20 on each side. Good question. So when we do reverse lunges, it's, tw it's uh, 20 reverse lunges on each side. So I would go one side, then the other, so you're not alternating for 40, because that's a lot. Um, push-ups are push-ups. Everybody's pretty familiar with those. Alternate or um, modify those as you need to, either knees down, maybe doing them on a wall, wherever you're at. Uh, so yeah, good question. If we're doing reverse lunges, it's 20 each side. SLDL is 20 each side. Okay, so that gets to be kind of a grind. All right. Okay, so we'll start off with the 20 toe taps. Wait, 20 toe taps is 20 each side? 20 toe taps is 20 each side, yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna start a timer even though we don't really need a timer because you're gonna go at your own pace, but I wanna see how we end up here. Okay, ready and off we go. Once you're through the toe touches, into a goblet squat. Making sure you got nice, even pressure spread through your feet here. Twenty reverse lunges each side, so the weight might get to be a, a factor here. Wait, I can't go back without this thing. So you gotta hold it out right just a little bit. Like. Feel free to split these up however you need to. You might get all 20 on one side, 10 and 10, however you split it up. You said you wanted more legs today. Yeah, I was just kind <sighs> Wait, like this? Don't keep your chest up. So on the row, making sure keeping your chest out, back nice and flat.
the nice thing about these circuits is after you finish uh, with 20, you are working your way downhill. You can adjust the weight as you need to, whether it's lowering the weight because you're fatigued or raising the weight because you're using or doing fewer reps. Try to keep the SLDLs nice and clean. After the SLDL, we're going push-ups. Remember, you can modify those however you need to. It's 20 push-ups, right? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Okay, so at your pace here, carrying on, we'll probably be quiet for a little while. You can use us as pacers. We're not going to be uh, probably going at a super blazing fast pace. But uh, yeah, if you can work ahead of us, work ahead. If you're trying to keep up, try to keep up. If you need more time, use more time. almost done. The toe taps can go at your speed also.
In my humble opinion, 15s are the worst. Careful. 15s are the worst because you're not quite close enough to being down and you're already tired from the 20s. So if you get through the 15s, it's all downhill from there. Way too far. Keep your chest up. You shouldn't be pushing your chest way down because your leg isn't going that high. So if your leg goes high, your chest can go low. Collar totally turned your knee and keep it out. See how your knee's caving in every time? You gotta keep it out. Keep it on like this. All face away from the floor. Good. There you go. Make sure on your push ups that you're not reaching your face towards the floor. So if you're to let go with your arms, your face shouldn't be the first thing to hit the floor. Your chest should hit the floor first. So keeping that chin tucked back and in. So what did you say yesterday? Green in the middle. Purple side. Yep. I wanted to make sure I was going to get through that first. Ed, how you doing? Give me a thumbs up if you're doing all right. All right. Got it. Two thumbs. All right. Good deal. Hey. Hey, Brooklyn, Don, Kelly, everybody's doing all right? Can't see you, but I'll trust you. Yeah. It's just easier. 
Remember, if you're in the tens, you're already in the last third of the workout. Finishing strong here. Finish. Yes. Oh no, look at here. Come over here. I can't see. All right, if you're up with us, we're working into the fives here. When do I clap? You push down.
Okay. Well, that was something. Are you with us, Ted? Are you done? Or are you finished up still? You all done? All right. Good stuff. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining. Good work this morning. Take some time to cool down. Enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.